welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me on my first episode of Prime Math Zoom, where preparation is key. What is perimeter? Do you know what perimeter is? Let's check it out. Follow the arrows. Right. Perimeter is the total distance taken around a closed figure. Let's try an example. Say this shape, which is a triangle, has three sides. Therefore, if it is the total distance taken around a closed figure, then we will be totaling the, this, the length around this closed figure. So we will be adding nine centimeter plus seven centimeters plus five centimeters, right? Yes, right. We added seven centimeters plus nine centimeters plus five centimeters, and we got a total of 21 centimeters. This represents the perimeter. Now, we want to link this concept of perimeter to a real life situation. Here goes. Ron is fencing his cabbage patch. He needs to know what length of wire to buy that would completely fence the patch. Let's help him work it out. Now here is the cabbage patch. And the patch is rectangular. What do we know about rectangular? rectangular regions. Right, it has two pairs of parallel sides. So on this patch, we have this side being parallel to this side, and they are both equal in length. We have this side being parallel to this side, and they are both equal in length. Now, it says the length of one long side is nine meters, and the length of one short side is six meters. But how many sides do we have? Yes, good job, we have four sides. So if this side is a, the long side and it is nine meters, it means that, yes, this side is also nine meters. And if this side being the short side is six meters, it means the side opposite to this one, which is this side, is also six meters. And if we remember how to find perimeter, we know that we can find the distance around this patch. So we know in order to find that, we have to add all four sides like this. Perimeter equals nine meters plus nine meters plus six meters plus six meters. And when we added all of that, we got a total of 30 meters. Let's check it out. Did we add four lengths? Let's go one, two, three, four. Yes, we added four lengths. Great job, guys. Now, this is one I would like for you to solve on your own. When Kelly warm up at a netball practice, she has to run along the edge of an area like the one shown below if she does this lap once. How many meters did she run? Right, so like this region below. What region is this though? Hmm. Yes, well done. It's a hexagon. We have how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Great job. But do you notice that some sides do not have a measurement? Right. How can we find the perimeter if we don't have all the measurements? 
Wow. So let's try this out. Let us look at this figure closely. When we look across from this 12 meters, do we, does it look like this side is also the same length as this? Okay, yes it does. Let's call this side A because we have not found it out yet. Then look at this one. This side is directly opposite from this side, but do they look like they have the same length? Yes, they do. So in order to find the perimeter, we would have to put in this 12 meters and put in this 16 meters. Just like this, 12 meters plus 12 meters plus 12 meters, which is missing, plus 16 meters plus 16 meters. And when we add it, we got a total of 80 meters. Therefore, the meters that she would have run would be 80 meters, and that also represents the perimeter. Thank you for joining us today. Please like and subscribe.